Not long ago, a student of mine asked a super interesting question. He asked, if he went to a jam session and people were playing something that used one of the modes, a modal song, how would he recognize it and be able to jump in and play with them? Hi, I'm Luke from Become a Bassist, and in this lesson, you're going to learn a three-step process for recognizing all the modes so you can be the kind of bass player that can jump up and nail this kind of stuff at a jam session first try. Welcome to Become a Bassist, where it's all about insanely practical, no BS bass lessons designed to get you playing better bass, having more fun, and becoming the best bassist you can be. And today we're talking about how to hear all the different modes. So for example, if someone's playing a song based in the Dorian mode, or the Lydian mode, or any of the modes, uh, or even if you're just playing along to songs by yourself, you'll know exactly how to hear these modal songs, and, and you'll know exactly what to play, you'll be able to just jump right in. That being said, if you don't have any idea what the modes are yet, this video might not make a huge amount of sense for you yet, but if you head to the link in the description, you can download my No BS Ultimate Guide to the Modes, and at the very least, you can follow along with the different shapes of the modes and all that kind of stuff. Now, when it comes to hearing something and recognizing it, you may be tempted to think that if you just listen to something for long enough, it'll kind of start to sink in and you'll recognize it, and that's, you know, mostly true, but there is a shortcut that makes this process so much quicker, and that's to sing all of your different modes. If you can internalize them so well that you can reproduce them with your voice on command, then recognize recognizing a mode or a modal tune, it's going to be trivially easy. Now, you don't need to have a beautiful voice, I definitely don't, uh, I, <laughs> I apologize in advance for my singing, uh, but to do this and get the most out of it, you only really need to be able to sing a single octave, and I'm sure you can manage that. Now, the easiest place to start for most people is doing this with the plain old major scale. So what I want you to do is grab your bass and sing along with me just a single octave of the major scale, otherwise known as the Ionian mode. So there is that three-step process. So let's do this on A. Yeah, so step one is just to sing all the notes as, as you play them, like this. Now, most people don't have problems with this at all. You know, this major scale is very familiar to most people. It doesn't feel, uh, you know, abstract or foreign. But step two is to do the exact same thing, but just let the first note ring out while you go up and down that major scale. So you go just that A, if you're using A, and you go... You could also play a sneaky major chord there, or one like this. That makes things a little bit easier. Uh, and doing this, step two, it's a little bit trickier than the first step, right? You have to keep track of where you are in the scale, make sure you don't drift into a different key. But step three is to do the exact same thing again, but with zero help from your bass. So you just get your first note, and then you go for it from there. So you might go... And at the end, if you've done everything right, you'll get to, you know, the last note, play that note again. And, uh, it should be the same one, uh, you know, uh, it should be the note that you're singing, should be the note that you started on, all that kind of stuff. And if you do that, perfect. Uh, so, step one, play every note as you sing it. Step two, sing along with... Step three is to do everything without any help from your bass. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You're thinking, Luke, that's too easy. How is this going to help at all? Well, we're not going to stop at the major scale. Next, we're going to do the same exact thing with all of your modes, and we're going to do them in a very specific order from brightest to darkest. Now, each of the modes exists on a kind of spectrum, where on one side, you've got your brighter sounding modes, and on the other side, you've got your darker sounding modes. Now you may think the major scale, being the major scale, is the brightest, but there's actually one mode that most people agree sounds even brighter. It's the Lydian mode. It's only one note different from the major scale. It has a sharp four instead of a regular four. That kind of makes it that little, that little bit brighter. So let's do this three-step exercise with the Lydian mode. Now I'm going to be moving pretty quick through all these, so if you're following along, feel free to pause the video while you do all three steps and really try and internalize all these sounds. Step one with Lydian is just playing all the notes. So we're going to use that same note for all the modes. So we're going to start on that A. You can start on whatever note you like though, but we're going to go sing all the notes of A Lydian. Really try and internalize that 
sharp four. Da, 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 da. That's what to listen for in the Lydian mode. It's major, and that sharp four makes it feel, you know, almost sharp, almost pointy. So Lydian is like, to me at least, the pointy major. Da, 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 da. So let's do um, step two right now. So we're gonna, you know, play a major chord and sing the notes of A Lydian. Da, 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 da. Really spend some time nailing that sharp four. Da, da. Your mind may very well be drawn to the regular four from the major scale, but do your best to jump over it and hit that pointy sharp four. Da, 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 Yeah? And let's do step three. So we just get the first note, or a chord maybe. And then we go the whole notes, all the notes, without any help from the bass. So da 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 Are we back are we in the right key? Yes! Awesome. Now next on the spectrum of modes is the Ionian, and we've already kind of done that. It's the, you know, major major, but let's just do it one more time. Remember part one is just a plain old old, old major scale with the regular four, not the sharp four like we were doing. Da, 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 da. Let's go straight into step two. Da, 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 da. And finally step three. Da, 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 Check yourself. Perfect. Now, if your mind is still stuck on that Lydian sound, that's totally understandable. Just try your best to flatten that four a touch and spend some extra time with step one if you need to really re-internalize that major scale. Next on the spectrum of modes from bright to dark is Mixolydian. Now, Mixolydian is still a major sounding mode, but the one difference from that to the major scale is that the seven is flat. It's this sound. Everything is major until we get to that seventh, which was, you know, that seventh is flat there. And also notice that as we move across the modal spectrum, we're only changing one note at a time, but we're getting progressively less bright. So to me, that flat seven, it kind of takes that mixed Lydian sound, the major sound, and makes it feel a little bit floppy. You know, the Lydian was really point, really sharp, really pointy, really sharp. The Ionian is just like your regular major major. Mixed Lydian, I feel, to me at least, is the floppy major. But let's go to step two with mixed Lydian. Da, 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 flat seven there. Da, 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 da. Really hang around that flat seven. Da, 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 da. If you need to, and really let that sound sink into your ears. And finally, step three. Da, 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 Are we still in key? Close enough. <laughs> now, if you need to make sure that you're singing the right notes, the right mode for step three, then record yourself doing this exercise and then listen back and play along on your bass. If your voice lines up perfectly, or at least really reasonably close uh, with the notes on your bass, then you're all good. But if you find that you're singing different things than what's in the shape on your bass, then go back to steps one and two, really try and internalize that sound, let it come out of your voice. Next though, we have Dorian. Now this is the first of our minor sounding modes. Everything up until now had a major third. This is our first with a minor third. Now, the only note that changes between mixed Lydian and Dorian uh, is the major third. So we have a minor third in Dorian where we have a major third in the mixed Lydian. So we take that, in this case, C sharp down to C, and we get the Dorian sound. It'll sound like this. This one still has that, that major six in there, so it's kind of like a happy minor mode. It's almost kind of bittersweet. Uh, let's do step two. And step three. Jackie Stilling Key. Pretty close. Now, like I said, I am moving pretty fast, but spend as much time as you need with all these. Next, we get our Aeolian. This is our quote unquote regular minor scale, or just our, you know, minor minor scale. Uh, and most people are pretty familiar with this sound. Uh, if we uh, take that major six we had in Dorian. 
and we take it down one half step. Duh, we get this sound, which is Aeolian. I'm sure you've heard this sound before. Just about any song that's in a minor key is based on this sound. So with that, let's go to step two. And finally, step three. Taking extra care to not sing that major six and sing that flat six. Oh, duh, we're still in key. Duh, cool, awesome. All right, the next two modes, a lot of people have trouble recognizing and singing because of the first interval. Everything so far has used a major second interval to start. Duh, duh. But our next mode, our Phrygian, we're gonna start with a minor second at the beginning. Duh, duh. Yeah, it's not very, nat a very natural sound for most people to start on, but it's also the only difference between Aeolian and Phrygian. They say share all the same notes apart from that first interval. Duh, duh. So step one is gonna sound like this. Da, 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 da. Oh, pardon me. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that first uh, interval makes it sound very dark. This is like the darker version of the regular minor scale. Let's go through step two though. Yeah, really hang around that first interval if you need to before moving on to step three and step three will be like this Duh. Okay, perfect. Still in the right key, or at least, you know, close enough. <laughs> Finally, we move on to Locrian. Now, the only difference between Phrygian and Locrian is the fifth. Phrygian has that regular fifth. Locrian actually has a flat fifth. Yeah, this is going to make it sound really, you know, angry or creepy. Not natural for most people to hear or sing. But let's give it a try anyway. You can do this. Uh, let's go to step one first. So, da, 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 da. Yeah, hear what I mean about it kind of being a little bit creepy? Yeah, it's that fifth, uh, you know, makes it really creepy. Actually, that flat fifth got the nickname the Devil's Interval by some music theorists, you know, like the 18th century. So I guess you could call this the Devil's Minor if you wanted to. But let's go through uh, step two at the moment. So, da, 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 da. Yeah, this one is getting a bit trickier, right? It's less uh, stable, less resolved. But do your best to work up to step three with this one, which will sound like this. Okay, perfect. Still in key. It's a relief. <laughs> Now, if you can do all three steps with all seven modes, then when you come across a song in the wild that's based on any of them, then you should have virtually zero problems recognizing them and kind of jumping in. Singing them, it really forces you to internalize the sounds, all the intervals across every mode. And you know, moving across that modal spectrum, uh, one mode at a time, going from brightest to darkest and then back again, that's a really great exercise to, to practice. But even better would to be pick the modes at random and see if you can accurately sing them. So for example, you might say, okay, let's try sing uh, a mixed Lydian. Da, 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 flat seven there, da, 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 da. Let's check. Okay, that's perfect-ish. <laughs> uh, but now instead of just moving across the modal spectrum, one mode either side, let's try jumping around so it's more than just one note that changes at a time. Let's jump straight to Phrygian. Check. A little bit, a little bit shaky there, but not too bad. Uh, okay, so we went straight from our what was it? Our floppy major to our dark minor. Now, a really true test would be to see if you can jump straight from the brightest to the darkest. So Lydian straight to Locrian. Let's give that a try. Da, 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 
And Locrian. Okay, pretty close. Not perfect, but pretty close. Uh, also notice how I'm kind of ghost fingering as I go along. It just helps me visualize what notes I'm supposed to be nailing. Uh, but if you can do that, go straight from Lydian to Locrian with no steps in, in between, you'll be pretty well set. Now of course the other part of the equation, once you've done all this, is to actually listen to some modal songs and try and figure out which of the sounds they're using. Are they using the happy minor? Are they using the pointy major? Are they using the dark minor? Uh, so in the pinned comment of this video, uh, I'm actually going to drop some links to some modal songs uh, that you can practice all this stuff with. So just try and see if you can recognize some of these sounds yourself, and if you're really brave, reply of that comment with your answers uh, and if you do need help with all the modes stuff and want to know exactly how they work exactly where to use them then definitely check out my ultimate guide to the modes it's a no BS jargon free guide that'll clear up any and all confusion you have about the modes and it's completely free as well so just click the link in the description or the or right here fill out the form on that page and I'll send it straight to you all free so I'll see you in there and also in the comments as well